The Cyber Patriot journey in Spartanburg began in September of 2015 with a group of three students. Spartanburg is a manufacturing town, and at the time, there were few outlets for students to learn about technology. For these three students, Cyber Patriot was a unique opportunity to both develop and test their skills. The team was excited, but there were some challenges early on. During the first year, we, we couldn't really find a coach, and it was really hard just to find a place to meet. Nevertheless, the team participated in the Cyber Patriot competition in late 2015. During the course of the next year, more students became aware of the competition and a website was made to both recruit and organize participants. SpartanburgCyber.com grew out of a desire to grow the teams, specifically for Dorman since that's my high school, but also across Spartanburg County. But students weren't the only ones looking to expand engagement with technology in Spartanburg. We had been looking at sector strategies and talent pipelines uh, and one of the focuses was IT. Growing from three students the first year to 20 the next year caught the Upstate Workforce Board's attention. We wanted to be on board, so we convened a breakfast at the Piedmont Club and invited IT individuals from the school districts along with the superintendents. We had uh, also a person come from Washington, D.C. to speak to the group. And it was very excited, exciting for all of us to hear about this. So it got us all pumped up and we really wanted to see every school district involved with, with a Cyber uh, Patriot team. The superintendents decided to create Cyber Patriot teams in their respective school districts. But with the competition only months away, some serious training had to be done. Spartanburg Community College hosted a camp this summer and we invited the coaches and the team members to come to provide them training for the Cyber Patriot program. The camp was full three weeks before the meeting date, full of students eager to learn. The teachers, the coaches, the high school students that came were amazing. They were all interested. They were there every day. They were there early. They stayed late. We had to kind of strongly encourage the Cyber Patriot um, campers to leave some days because they wanted to hang around. The camp proved to be a launch pad for growth. In October, the original team received the 2017 South Carolina Cyber Patriot Award by the Department of Education. In addition, the passion of the students encouraged Spartanburg Community College to apply for an NSF grant to create a two-year information security degree program. The community in Spartanburg has rallied behind the Cyber Patriot team's exponential growth, and this only the beginning. I was really impressed with the students and the teachers. I expect to see big things out of them. Since the making of the video in November of 2017, a lot has happened. In spring 2018, the National Science Foundation awarded a grant of $215,000 to Spartanburg Community College. With the grant funds, we're working to create a two-year curriculum and continue building the competition in the community. My name is Jack Mabry, and I'm a, a current county councilman uh, with Spartanburg County. Uh, when we heard about the Cyber Patriot, uh, we were all in. I am so excited today to be a part of this program. I'm excited to be at the banquet to present the Resolution and Championship Cups, recognizing the outstanding uh, students. This is exactly what our county needs to stay competitive in the country and also benefit our local economy. The Spartanburg Area Chamber of Commerce has been involved in Cyber Patriot along the way, but as we look to the future of our education to employment initiatives through the Chamber and through One Spartanburg, we're expanding our involvement with Cyber Patriot. We're trying to encourage new pathways for youth, and uh, in fact, we're working on a partnership to create an IT imagination explosion so that all students in Spartanburg County, uh, initially focusing on all eighth graders in Spartanburg County, can attend an event that'll introduce them to career pathways in things like coding, robotics, and things like that. Cyber Patriot has been a success for our community, and we're excited to be a part in scaling this program as we look to the future and cultivate interested students in robotics and coding. 
We sponsored three camps this summer, which was a great accomplishment, and they were full. But maybe the most exciting aspect is the high school Cyber Patriot coaches volunteered to teach most of the classes. Teachers see the interest the kids have, and they want to grow the competition. Which leaves us looking to the future. We had 13 teams this year, including one middle school team. We feel like we have a good momentum in the high schools. We'll now start focusing on the middle schools, especially Title I schools. We've also found that pairing a great technical mentor with a teacher has worked well. So we'll continue developing these partnerships. We also plan to expand our summer Cyber Patriot camps to include a middle school camp. The best really is yet to come.